Great. Good afternoon, good morning, and good evening to everyone connected to this seven series career acceleration uh, program. Brought to you by Paraclet Institute, a premier authorized training partner of uh, the Project Management Institute USA. I'm delighted we are connected on time, even though not everybody seems to have connected, but it's imperative we respect the timings because we do have lots and lots of uh, things to discuss. We'll kick on to introducing series four of our seven series career acceleration program. And I think everyone has had the opportunity to be uh, uh, to attend from series one to three. If you miss series one, two, or three, or any of them, kindly we can make everything available to you because until we complete the seven uh, four modules and you have an assessment with a takeaway uh, industry achievement certificate, um, it, it it wouldn't it wouldn't yet be sufficient. So we encourage you to stay on and um, ask your questions when you 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 require uh, our attention. We are very available because this is a career summit, right? It's a career summit, and we are bringing to you best industry information uh, and best uh, information that intersects academia and industry practice. So um, I think I can have, I can spot many of us who have been from series one. And in case you are just joining us, is anybody just joining us? I think everybody here seems to have been on the first series. Okay. If you're just joining us, then we encourage you to indicate on the chat window so we can know how we can help you out with the previous series already covered. All right, with that, we are getting to introduce, of course, we just have to take a little bit of a, a review in the next three or five minutes, what we have covered so far from series one, right up to series three, and here we are in series four. So this is a seven series career acceleration, right? And this spans, uh seven weeks of coverage and you do um have lots and lots of modules here uh pointing to very you know strategic areas of your life your academics your career pursuits your university work and industry how you can map your future very well right so we've had good introductions why the seven series is important, why, uh, what are the modules that we're covering in the seven series, modules one. We've covered charting your career path, leveraging PMI certifications in project management for global opportunities. And if you have any question on that, fine. We would be responding to you. Of course, understand that it's a whole standard curriculum, okay? So it's a graded curriculum that is being delivered to you in modules. And our aim is that at the end, you will definitely have a graded assessment that can position you for opportunities. Series two was concluded on essential tools and skills for building successful careers and businesses. The critical focus there was on product development skills, project management skills, data skills, and AI skills, and digital skills. Series three, we covered goal setting for higher education success. How we align academic outcomes with industry certifications, equipping students for high demand careers. There we explore the framework for four degrees of planning. And uh, we were able to have a successful discussion al along these topics or modules. Of course, we know series four, which is our focus of today is critically aligned to uh, top to citing out the importance of uh, prioritizing the amongst the top 10 trending in high demand 
career paths that you can you know dream of and how you can position yourself profile yourself for these successful careers series five would be looking at personal branding how you can develop your personal brand all right so how to build a personal brand for career growth discovering the power of personal branding and how certifications like the CAPM, the PMP can help you stand out in your project management journeys. Exploring career strengths of these certifications will give you a strong underpinning still. Series number six, uh, we will be looking at comprehensive mastery of global talent industry, exploring the career mega trends and designing your career journey blueprints. It's still going to be a reinforcement on Series 5. And then finally, Series 7 will be a massive workshop, a consolidation workshop, where we are leveraging Gen AI for education and professional success, introducing the Paraclet PMI Mega Career Journey Builder. So this is going to be a platform tool where you are going to develop your project, your, your, your career portfolio, and see how you can map your career journey uh, from one stage to another on a very successful move. And that becomes a lifelong um, uh, uh, you know, accompaniment to your career success and academic success as well. So far, uh, the benefits of this seven series would be that the outcomes would be uh, a, a wonderful industry readiness achievement certificate co-endorsed uh, by Paraclet Institute and PMI USA at the token of $9.9. A fully funded tuition scholarship will be available for those who emerge successful, consistent from the beginning of this training right to the end, and they've taken the assessments and earned their achievement certificates. Exclusive discounts on our speed mentoring certifications will equally be uh, the benefits of being a part of this uh, forum because you're joining a global allied mentors forum uh, where a community where you begin to network and chat your career journeys very much easily, all right? So, so far, that's what we've done. And um, we're able to explore the project economy, bring insights into the talent capabilities of project managers and how project managers are shaping the, the trends in, the, in our world today. Uh, whether in IT, tech, um, in a, a health, education, research, manufacturing, and uh, whatever industries, service industries. We saw the career opportunities with project management around the world and how project managers are earning in high figures. We explored that and then we moved over to module two, which was building on the kind of skills uh, that we need to shape successful careers and also develop successful businesses that was covered with product knowledge project management knowledge data and ai skills and digital fluency skills there of course um a lot was explored right and the next and the last or the series before this one today was the Series three on goal setting for higher education success. Aligning academic outcomes with industry certifications, equipping you for high demand careers. This included the four degrees of planning framework, which bordered around financial, business planning, personal development, professional development, and so on. There we've explored good material that has given you insights to shaping successful Careers. All right. Now, uh, well, we are going to make some of these materials available to you in case you need it for your proper review. Here comes series four, and where and this is where we are today. Series four, and series four is a wonderful, wonderful, interesting series. A module pointing to um categorizing prioritizing and discussing on the top 10 
high demand careers and how in today's world you can blueprint your readiness towards this end of this top 10, right? How you can uh you can have uh strategic position tips for you to get along end of these careers. All right. Good. That is fine. Uh, I think um, most of us already know the trend of our discussion, introducing us to today's module. You understand the trends. There's so much speed in our world, right? We already talked about the importance of responding very fast. When you are in university, you must know the university system now is not like those days. You have to be very fast because there's information explosion. We are living also in an age where there's so much distraction, right? Uh, with your mobile phone, I can bring you statistics on how exactly uh, the average the average person with a mobile smart device he spends how many minutes in a day uh, on browsing and how many of those minutes can contribute to um, you know, waste, right? Accountable as waste. Nevertheless, the same challenges that people are facing are the same challenges that companies, organizations, and industry is facing, right? There's a lot of change, agility. There's a lot of information, information access or access to information. Now with AI, lots of things are happening at a rapid speed. So building building uh, on any of these top 10 careers would be a big, you know, a big opportunity for us. First, having knowledge about it, because I think um, project management in tech, project management careers in tech are very, very lucrative, okay? So why project management in the first place? So with rapid advancements in technology and digital transformation globally, new career fields are emerging with high demand and sustainability. Now, that means these careers are not going to be replaced. There's high sustainability. When you pick this kind of skills, you are made up for life. Project management, especially within tech, is becoming crucial as industries increasingly depend on tech-driven project strategies. Everything in tech requires project, project skills. That's what we want to see in the summary. And that's why building a, uh, a career in project management in tech is critical uh, competence because the two move into any industry of work today, whether in the health, whether in the education, whether in the research, in manufacturing, in telecom, all of that is project management and tech or digital. So this presentation will bring us these top 10 skills and the first of them in the career series will be uh, the top career number one, data scientists, right? You may be surprised. We're talking about project management tech careers, okay? Project management careers in the tech industry. So. If you want to position yourself, number one, you have data skills, you become a data engineer, a data analyst. And uh, why is that important? Think about it. AI is transforming industries from healthcare to finance and so on. And we must understand the role of data in business decision making and decision transparency. Improving transparency in decision making is critical to all uh, key stakeholders in industry. When you want to advance, you want to launch a product, you want to do innovation, you need new knowledge. And new knowledge will come to be validated uh, so that you can validate your assumptions very quickly. So you need quality data. And you may have the data, but probably you don't have an analyst and who masters the analytical tools to bring this data uh, relevance to the forelight. 
So that is why you see case examples, industry examples like Netflix, that are data-driven uh, recommendation systems are really, really critical to success in those in the in the data industry. So if you are exploring from the, the salary range, data scientists, data analysts, data engineers are earning in the margin of 100,000K to 130,000K per annum. That is very substantial, right? So if you take that, take, uh, please, uh, you take, I would like that you control your mouse. Don't um, interfere the, um, uh, the recording. Okay. So if you take 130,000K, divide that by 12. How much is that per month? People think that there are no jobs. There are big jobs out there. Data scientists, I will tell you. Yeah, so can everybody get me 10 on 10 to be very sure? Are we on track? If, if you can hear me 10 on 10, please give me 10 on the chat window so I can be sure. Or you can open your mic and say yes. All right, thank you for that response. I want to be very sure. All right, good. Now, looking at uh, the role of data science, by just telling us that the world is run by information, okay? Data is the new currency, all right? Why is Google going for data? Asking for you to create an account. Why is Facebook, why are those uh, email uh, engines calling for you? Sign up, social media, sign up, sign up. Everything is first of all sign up. At times they'll make you sign up for free and offer you a service for free so that you sign up. Why? Data is important. They do marketing with that data. They do lots of sales with data. Okay. They make lots of planning with data. Businesses are developed based on proper data analysis. So imagine how much data a telecom company in your country has about that country. Okay. They can they, they, they do big businesses. They approach big organizations, approach those telecom companies for data. And uh, uh, the scientific or, or statistical uh, uh, houses or government statistical houses are equally relying on data to be able to make sound policy decisions. All right? So you have to understand data is critical there. So being a data analyst positions you. Um, a project management data analyst in this case, okay? Because no matter what you you say you have in a tech skill, a tech domain, if you don't tie that with project capabilities, you can't deliver projects, you can't deliver strategy, you can't execute. So project management ties as the bottom line to executing all kinds of work in the different industries. Now, if you were to look at the key skills that you need to build for this successful career, for this data scientist or data analyst, if you're a data project manager, good. The skills you need to build with data analytics, statistics, machine learning, Python, SQL, which are database related. And the career positioning tips. You gotta specialize in areas like healthcare, finance that are very critical. And you obtain certifications like Tableau. Tableau is a powerful certification tool and a software platform where you analyze, visualize data and render good reporting, all right? So you want to do data analytics, data visualization, and, the, and proper reporting with good dashboards, all right? So Power BI, Data uh, Tableau, 
uh, Excel dashboards. These are the kind of critical tools that you need and they come with certifications. So when you get certified in, in Tableau, you can get certified in Tableau for, uh, let's say, industry specific Tableau, like uh, Salesforce Tableau, that helps you to manage uh, customer data, uh, sales data, and marketing data for organizations. Yes, so you can build that whole architecture, understand how to mine the data, understand how to uh, uh, you know uh, plan and and you know channel the data in such a way that you can get intelligent market information, intelligent decisions, intelligent forecasting, intelligent uh, uh, automations that will give management leverage on how to get things going faster. So that is it. So Power BI is is um, based on Microsoft, uh, Google Analytics is also a powerful tool for that. And then analyzing data, uh, data for education, data for healthcare, data for finance. These are critical domains that need data scientists and we must value that with project managers or project management. Top career number two, AI. All right, AI machine learning engineer. Many of us should be very comfortable when we talk about, uh, you know, machine learning AI. Don't think it's too difficult. Well, once you have, you've crossed to university, your mind is open, you can always shift fields and, and direction as fast as you can, okay? But you must understand the kind of interdisciplinary, multidisciplinary skills that would give you the cross-functional capability to do work in any industry, and that is it. So top career number two there is AI machine learning. Uh, the, the, the use of AI in automation and customer service like Amazon's Alexa is very, very critical. You can see how lot the most carriers you know, in Amazon a cloud-based, automated. And so AI is playing a very big role there in customer uh, automation of data and so on and so on. So being a data AI engineer would be a whole lot. So why is that important? AI is transforming industries from healthcare to finance. The industry example there will be Google self-learning algorithms and search engines. So you be a, a, a machine learning AI engineer because machine learning is a part of AI, intelligent, uh, what we call artificial intelligence, all right? Intelligent systems, building intelligent systems. So machine learning. And the salary range there goes higher from 110,000 to 150,000, all right? So you need some kind of backup certifications like tens of law and deep learning, which would give you the career advantage okay yeah so certifications like google cloud ais we need to look at that uh top career number three cyber security specialist and everybody can vet that cyber security is gaining grounds right so cyber security is not new it's even even much demanding now because as data security threats increase, so does demand for skilled cybersecurity professionals in our world. Uh, there is that need for us to understand uh, all industries need cybersecurity specialists. And there are almost 50 different rules in, just in cybersecurity that we can mention. All right. So there are high level specialization rules because the demand and the application of cybersecurity is broad. So you, you being, being a cybersecurity specialist, uh, it gives you an average salary range from 90K uh, to 120K certifications that would be uh, CISSP and CEH. These are different uh, certification bodies that help you to know uh, master cybersecurity. Of course, cybersecurity has different 
bodies of certifications. The key skills will be network security, risk management, uh, intervention, and ethical hacking. All right. Career number four, cloud computing engineer. I think you know that cloud organizations are shifting to cloud-based infrastructures for scalability and flexibility. All right, so we need to understand that the modern business today doesn't need to be seated in one, in one machine, a central system somewhere in a geolocational place. Uh, when, when, when challenges and risks happen, the whole organization can lose everything. So we need to have computing, cloud computing engineers who understand how to put the data on the cloud, manage the data of the organization, build the architectures, and infrastructures that will propagate uh, uh, you know, the organization forward. So Dropbox migration to AWS is critical. You can understand. The salary range for uh, prospects in that field will be taken from 95K to 140K. Certifications in uh, uh, Amazon Web Services increase job market competitiveness. The key skills cloud, cloud platforms AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, networking, virtualizations, you need to be able to get any of these and you will start out a successful career as a cloud computing engineer. Again, like we said, all of these require project management as an underpinning. Let's go to number five, career five, digital marketing, all right? Digital marketing specialists. You want to have the sales figures skyrocket, we need specialists. We need specialists in the organization to drive sales uh, figures, okay? Yes, to skyrocket those sales figures. Uh, growth in e-commerce and digital advertising is taking the lead, all right? The rise of e-commerce, digital services, creates the demand for digital marketing expertise. You need to position yourself. In fact, <laughs> let me tell you something. For cybersecurity and all what we have seen before, they require a full um, employment before you can really work and get the money. But digital marketing offers the consultancy on the go with capabilities on the go with your with just your laptop, you're already consulting for big organizations, all right? And you can leverage that to have many, many clients. Of course, you can still be a consultant for cybersecurity, cloud engineering, and so on. But digital marketing stands to be one of those very, very uh, flexible skills, easy to onboard yourself, easy to fly in, this, in a matter of weeks and months, and you start managing uh you know as a specialist the the marketing and sales aspects of an organization so that is it and you can look at salary range there from 60k to 90k but i can tell you uh it depends on the which platforms and which areas uh of industry you find yourself let me tell you that sales digital marketing specialists are people who Let's say if you go to the extent of experts, digital marketing expert, where you have lots of automation capabilities, you develop build uh, platforms like Salesforce uh, uh, marketing and, uh, and uh, sales platforms. When you are doing that, uh, Salesforce and me, Salesforce, um, uh, 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 Tableau, Salesforce, Einstein, and Tableau, Salesforce, there are many very powerful platforms. If you are talking about platforms for digital marketing, um, the best of them in the world is the Salesforce. You have Hotspot, you have, uh, uh, of course, there are many others like uh, uh, GHL. You have, uh, uh, many of us know MailChimp. MailChimp is just not, well, that's, that's constant contact. Those are very basic ones, okay? They are powerful tools that combine every, every integrated capability that you need to power up uh, your revenue 
Yeah, so that means um, this, the, 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 the engineers or specialists that can design uh, the, uh, the, the revenue engines of organizations using uh, AI enablement uh, with uh, digital marketing. You need to really have that digital marketing expertise, right? So you have that your 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 sales can go your I mean your income can go up to five hundred thousand a month. I'm telling you, can go up to a million a month, a million dollars. Yeah. So this is just the basic salary range in case you want to get for for specialists. You know, specialists are not cross functional. They are very specialized in one domain. Maybe Google, Google Ads, right? Maybe it's Facebook ads or LinkedIn ads specialist or uh, social media in general specialist or um, uh, SEO specialist or and these are very high level specialization areas. So depending on which specialization is in high demand, you are getting uh, equivalent uh, earning potentials in these industries. Okay, so key skills there: content strategy marketing social media marketing, Google Analytics, SEO, and so on. The certifications you need to get, well, you can pick some freely from Hotspot. Uh, if you really work with Hotspot uh, platform, mostly, okay, because some of these certifications are platform-based, platform-specific. That's why I call it specialist, digital marketing specialist. All right, so we offer certification trainings in Digital marketing fundamentals, digital marketing associate, digital marketing professional, digital marketing specialist, and digital marketing expert. So there are over five different um, digital marketing uh, levels of capabilities and certifications that you can take. All right, so specialist is very much um, specific, right, as it is. Now, if you are certified with hotspot, like I said, and even though you are going to have uh, the basic principles that can apply to any other platform, but you'll be much specific to hotspot platform for carrying out digital marketing and sales uh, capabilities for companies. But if you're going uh, transversal, you can take, take many other standard certifications, uh, which cover the principles and practices that can go for all this. Now you can have, we have our own platform uh, where you can, I think I showed with us last time when you were taking, uh, oh, no, 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 it's not this class. <laughs> Sorry, it's a university class for uh, marketing automation I was trying to refer to. So you don't, you haven't yet taken that course. Sorry. So we had uh, a very uh, practical exposure to the platforms that we're using. Uh, it's a global platform, Cloud Marketer. Uh, with Cloud Marketer, oh, it has powerful engines, capability. You can scale any kind of business. You can, you know, you, you are building the revenue generation machine for any organization with that platform. It has all the integrated services, applications you can ever find in the market today for digital marketing. So, you are interested in such a career, we can get you started, position you with all the tools, build you the labs, the lab capabilities and give you the, uh, and craft your career journey, of course, the roadmaps that you can complete to becoming a top expert. Yeah. So, digital project manage manager, there are certifications like that, digital project manager that can help you uh, uh, master the essentials of project management to executing high uh, uh, impact uh, digital marketing campaigns, digital marketing strategy, and digital marketing uh, automations for companies. So that is what we can uh, say there for now. The top career number six, project manager in tech. All right, so this is still like, okay, we are saying that project management underlines every or every career we are, uh, we are we are mentioning here. But project management itself is a career on its own, right? So it's 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 a go-to component that all careers will need, but it's itself a career on track on its own. So that's why we take it here. We say uh, if you are taking project management as a full specialization, 
great, great. You can become a project manager, a program manager, a portfolio manager, an agile specialist. You can become an agile coach, a project manager. You can become an agile certified practitioner. You can become a value stream consultant as a discipline agile coach. Yeah, so there are many. You can become a product owner, okay, a product uh, a product uh, manager, product owner, product analyst. You can have different roles with project management, okay? So different roles and specializations. And the salary range that goes 85 to 125 for basic level professional project managers uh, roles. They either going uh, specialist, um, expert level roles in program management, you start thinking from 140,000K to 200,000K, or 240,000K for program managers. When you start going portfolio and product managers can even earn up to 300, 500. That's very possible. Very, very possible. And you need certifications that will build your, your trap, your professional trap, and, and bring you to the level of expertise uh, as a coach and as a consultant uh, where you can consult at for 500, for 1,000 companies and so on. The key skills you need to put there, agile, scrum, risk management, budgeting, technical understanding of projects, and how you can work with methodologies. All right, so there are lots and lots of certifications in the project management domain, starting with the CAPM, the associate level. Uh, you have fundamentals level certifications, which build on the essential foundational skills in case you are totally lacking in project management, okay? So uh, it takes you from fundamentals uh, or beginner level to uh, associate, where you have the, the associate professional certification like CAPM. The CAPM gives you a knowledge-based mastery of project management. Then of how you have the PMP, which is a full pro level certification in project management, regarded as the gold standard certification you saw. And of course, you have specializations in project management coming like uh, Agile Scrum or uh, Professional Scrum Master, Professional Scrum Master, uh, Professional Scrum Product Owner, Professional Scrum Developer, and so on and so on. You have Discipline Agile Scrum Master, Discipline Agile uh, Senior Scrum Master, Discipline Agile, uh, uh, Discipline Agile uh, Coach, and Discipline Agile Value Stream Consultant. And the ACP is Agile Certified Practitioner. I told you about the capability of this education. When someone has it, you master product development, product delivery, uh, working with high performance teams, uh, implementing the ethos and, 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 the, and the, the values of Agile and principles of Agile in a very mature way. So the practices of Agile are fully embedded within this education ACP. So these are the kind of certifications you get and it brands you out straight, uh, profiles you for these top careers in project management domain. If you go online search, project management careers, project management jobs, in any country, you will be amazed what you'll find. They are there waiting for everybody that can feel it. Because PMI has done a global research showing uh, the, 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 the trending, uh, uh, the demand, that means the, the number of, uh, the skill gaps that we need to fill project roles around the world is very wide. Exponentially, project management uh, uh, talent is in high demand. All right, so let's go. That's to tell us that number six is actually taken into consideration that this is um, everything you need for all the top 10 careers mentioned, plus the fact that it is itself a full career industry for you. All right, top career number seven, blockchain developer. Have you heard about this? Sure. We must be informed in a world where things, you know, where, where we're heading to. There's a lot happening in blockchain uh, technologies. Uh, blockchain in industries beyond finance. Blockchain technology is expanding beyond finance into supply chains, healthcare systems, and much more. Uh, the example is one, one max blockchain use in supply chains, right? So if you are dealing with supply chain, start thinking of weaving off 
some kind of capabilities where you have you are a developer of that of those kind of platforms that would uh, run autonomous systems, supply chain, and maybe the healthcare system, and so on and so on. Salary range there is pretty much good, 100k to 140k at the pro level. So when you are very much experienced in the field, you find yourself uh, shooting beyond the roof in terms of earning power. Now, the, the key skills you need will be solidity, smart contracts, decentralized applications, cryptography, uh, certifications like Ethereum, and solidity coming in to help out. Top career number eight, full stack developer. Come on. Everybody knows. Be a developer, you are you are you are entering into a high earning range from 90k to 120k. That's just the average uh, level where you can spike, you can spike up to uh, as much as you are, I mean you experience there's okay. So Right now, if you combine uh, developers, you have developers or project managers, uh, digital, digital marketers with project management. Let's say developers, a full, a full stack developer needs to have certifications in project management like Agile, Certified Practitioner, Scrum Master, Scrum Developer, Scrum Product Owner, then Business Analyst, and then add some of the industry certifications that are specific to developers. Right, JavaScript, Python, front end and back end development, uh, you know, capabilities. Yeah, so this is where um, you see the big jobs out there looking for you. Everything, everything in Canada, for example, there are there are high, high, high jobs waiting. So much coming up every day. Thousands of jobs are being published looking for people with skills in who are developers and who are PMP certified and ACP certified or Scrum certified or whatever certified in adaptive project management technologies. So when you have that, you are ready for uh, a polish of career in this fast paced industry. Number nine, UX and UI designers. I will call them interaction designers, okay? Interaction designers uh, for what? Interface, where you uh, user interface designers, user experience designers, these are very powerful product engineers, okay? So they do, there's a lot of design thinking in product development. There's a lot of design thinking, in, for example, in developing websites, mockups, uh, so on and so on. They use powerful tools and applications like uh, Adobe X, Sketch. Um, the other one is what? Uh, we use uh, many, many, many platforms. There you develop wireframes, user usability testing, and you can as well see that, uh, of course, not on. Um, the other one that we are using, we, we, I just, just keep my mind. Yeah, these are powerful tools. You need to understand that designers are in high need for all companies. Every business needs a designer, every business. Project managers will need business analysts and also interaction designers who understand how to bring the concepts, okay? Illustrate those concepts and help customer experience go fluid, very easy. So when you enter a website, you are looking at how the website is built, the architecture, the navigation path, and so on. That will make you know the browsing experience very, very enjoyable and also uh, auto action very easy. So the 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 the, the, the user experience, customer experience, UI experience, uh, that's very powerful. So you need to look at what happens. I think in the education sector, you could you could find yourself. Uh, Adobe comes up with some powerful tools for e-learning uh, designs, uh, designing for e-learning, instru instructional design, uh, and e-learning technologies. You have like uh, Adobe Captivate and uh, 
so many, many that carry with them the specifics of designing within that industry. So how do you start your journey with um, becoming a UX, UI designer? I think uh, the first thing is just start with Adobe certifications. We can offer you vouchers. You, 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 you self-pace yourself. And in three months, you certify as an Adobe. Uh, in one month, what am I saying? One month, you get certified as Adobe Associate, OK? Uh, that you can help to know how to design using uh, tools like uh, Photoshop, uh, Illustrator, InDesign, and uh, whatever. Then beyond that, you, you explore further to um, using the advanced tools now to come up with UI design for your websites, mockups, and so on and so on. There you are getting ready for something serious. So to be an interaction designer, your salary range there is not small, 70K to 100K. And when you are a very senior level position designer, interaction designer, uh, motion graphics, whatever it is, you are coming to another dimension where your earning capabilities are much big. Top career number 10, healthcare technologists. Uh, this, this industry is very important for us. Uh, the healthcare industry is increasingly adopting digital technology for patient care, right? Salary range 80 to 110K, not small. Certifications, health informatics, health tech project management. You need to build these careers that will take you very far in the future. All right, so let's center around the tips that will profile us, will help us quickly profile ourselves for successful uh, project management tech careers. Uh, the project management career path, especially in tech, is seen to be multifaceted with opportunities for specialization at different levels. All you need to do is, first of all, build the core project management skills competence that you need with a tech emphasis. Starting with the CAPM, uh, and PMP, and the uh, Agile a Certified Practitioner, or Scrum Master and Scrum Developer or Scrum Product Owner, you are already on the track, okay? So take that as the first step. The second step is for you to gain hands-on experience. After certification, you need to practice. You need to be in a tech-related uh, project where you use tools like Jira, Asana, Trello, in collaborating with teams and developing, uh, you know, cross-functionally, you are able to work with teams. Uh, and, you know, you, you, these are tracking, monitoring, and product development visualization tools. Number three, you develop your agile and lean methodology capabilities. So proficiency in agile methods like Scrum, Kanban, will begin to deepen your practices because this is what experts or practitioners need. And then of course, network network also within the tech industry to have mentors, and uh, also mentor uh, young, younger people so that you can gain hands-on, attend industry conferences, use LinkedIn, you will be able to move forward with your career in this domain. Build a tech-oriented project portfolio this is one of the things we're going to be doing in our career journey builder uh, uh, at the end of this uh, service series. There you're going to position yourself. Of course, everyone will be able to see how you can shape your, your journey, all right? Come up with a vision. Combine all what we have learned so far to come up with something uh, related to what you will start, you know, your, your journey on. So that's your portfolio. To be more detailed, you have to take building core skills in project management with emphasis in tech. If you are taking project management and you really want to specialize in tech, you have many, many opportunities awaiting for you, awaiting you, okay? So certifications, like the CAPM, the PNP, Scrum will help you. And technical domains that you deepen yourself in practices would be the DevOps, 
agile software development, cyber security basics, you know. <clears throat> when you have the basics of this um AWS, DevOps, cyber security basics, and so on and so on, even IC3 or whatever that gives you digital uh, fluency skills. Then as a project manager, you're already very, very top notch, okay? Because we you have a good working knowledge to enter the field as a tech project manager, digital project manager. So um, practice cannot be overemphasized. We need to practice, okay? We need to develop solid understanding of technical domains in project practice. And you need certifications that can back it up there, like Scrum Master, CFPM, and so on. You have to be able to network, as we said. Lots of people tie themselves in one small hole, and they don't know the world is that much expanded until you meet people coming from different uh, sectors and they do conferences, seminars, workshops, symposia, trade events, and, and so on. Come out there. Come out of those small closets. Go meet people out there. You will learn a lot in a single moment. And that will improve a lot in your career as a successful project management. Building successful careers, you build a tech-oriented project portfolio. As you gain the experience, document your projects and highlight your role in driving success. A portfolio demonstrates your ability to deliver projects successfully in tech environments, which will enhance your credibility. So we build your tech portfolio, project portfolio, that you can sell yourself out, out there, sell your skills out there very easily. You position yourself, people are looking for you. You don't need to apply for jobs. Jobs are locating you while you are sleeping, okay? So that's how it is. So when you build, we'll show how to build your, your project uh, portfolio, the tech-oriented project portfolio. You will get jobs that you can, you, you, you may have to now sublet those jobs to some people that are working, and that is it. So we'll show you exactly how you can do that. There are platforms that can advertise your skills, show you a whole lot of things, and you can be earning multiple figures, digits, uh, six digits, eight digits, all that is possible. Stay at, at, on top of the trends, okay? The world is evolving fast, so be adaptable, be uh, uh, innovative, uh, challenge the status quo, always have market intelligence. Uh, industry intelligence and understand that things are changing, patterns are changing, you know, um, the tech world is changing. So make sure there is adaptability and, 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 and resiliency in the whole way you are taking your journey. All right. So building a successful career, you need to focus also on aspects of communication, build competencies in communication and stakeholder management. You will be a successful project manager when you master communication, communication methods, communication models, communication technologies, and stakeholder engagement strategies. These are critical areas in project management in the tech domain because you need high level collaboration, high performance teams, and you'll be able to drive effective and efficient communication uh, te techniques that will help you uh, build strong stakeholder uh, relations and drive successful projects in the tech world easily. So with that, uh, we come to a conclusion of today's uh, brief presentation on uh, how you can position yourself with top 10 careers in project management in the tech industry. So um, the tech industry offers that vast opportunity for project managers Combining technical knowledge with core project management skills, you will be able to fly, especially, like we said, if you're a project manager, that's already a, a full a full profession. You specialize further to domains, critical specific domains in project management, then you're a project management specialist as well. And you can combine uh, cross-functional experiences from different, different project management domains like myself, I have lots and lots of experience in Agile project management, in Scrum, in Discipline Agile, in uh, traditional waterfall, in uh, product development, in uh, business analysis, 
in risk management, governance, portfolio, organizational, uh, project management, development, uh, understanding, uh, uh, you know, change management and organizational transformation. Those are powerful domains in project management I've just mentioned mm -hmm. to you. And they are all specializations. When you have that cross-functional capability, then you are an expert, you are a consultant. You can do a lot and, you know, anywhere, anyhow. That is true. That is true. So when you have that, uh, fine. But if you don't need to go fully, fully the way I'm talking about, then having specific technical knowledge in, uh, say, uh, IT, uh, having the Amazon or cloud certification or cybersecurity certification as a project manager, take project management seriously as your number one competency. Yeah? Because the execution of strategy, the way to plan, the way to execute, everything is project management. I can tell you that if you are IT engineer, IT expert, IT specialist, without project management, you will be working under project managers as a staff subject matter expert, that's all you'll be. When projects are concerned, you will be as a staff under the managers who know how to combine strategy, okay? We already showed you the, the, the three in the, in the, in the three concentric, uh, concentric skills of a project manager from the PMI talent triangle. That shows you as a project manager, you have mastery of technical domains uh, or ways of working, methodologies. And you also have a mastery of of power skills, which are leadership, interpersonal, and so on. And then you have a, a mastery of business, strategic business acumen, which is a full knowledge on how business strategy is and how to bring uh, prioritize uh, business goals and value delivery. So those are the kind of skills that project managers bring on board. Yeah, so when you have that, you are, you, you, you are on, on top of the game, like I said, Especially when you advance forward towards uh, advanced applications in project management, like program management, where you're leading many project managers uh, and many projects, uh, managing interdependencies, interdependencies uh, creating uh, strategic benefits realizations, and so on and so on. When you into all of that, you are just the best. Okay, so that's your specialization, that's your expertise. But like I said. If you are at a professional level in project management with CAPM, PMP, and Scrum Master or ACP, fine. Find yourself in your niche domain or technical domain like IT. If you want to navigate fast, IT careers are good, like digital marketing, cybersecurity, cloud engineering, AI engineer, um, data, data engineer, data analyst, or BI engineers, and so on. When you have any of those certifications, they are, you are fast to locate yourself, fast to locate yourself. You can't just carry one certification and go and be looking for jobs. No, you need to be able to understand the combination that offers that experience and practice level required for industry uh, delivery, okay? So positioning yourself as a valuable asset in this evolving landscape can lead to successful and impactful career in tech. Thank you very much. I hope it was a nice time to have you today. Uh, um, if you have any questions so far, you want to have any contributions, um, I think what we've presented to you makes some substantial knowledge. Any question? All right, so it's just one hour plus and we are done with series four thank you very much for your participation let me check out on the chat window in case you have a question you didn't post it directly verbally because i was presenting all right you are requesting the presentations be shared for okay share that's uh, Ram Boza. Okay, Ram Boza wants certifications, uh, I mean the slides to be shared. All right, no problem. Any other demand or question or comment? Have you gained anything? What, what can you express about your feeling and outcome of this series four? Was it informative, insightful? Was it provocative? Uh, was it rich enough? 
Did you meet your expectation? All right. Just one person to Hello. Share. Yes, please. Yes, good afternoon to you, sir. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Actually, it was so informative. Right. Every day, every time I attend this series, my mind gets open to that another level. Actually, when I attend my bachelor, I thought maybe at least I had something, but I've discovered I have nothing. I have to just start learning seriously and make myself a better person. Otherwise, I'm so grateful and I look forward to at least becoming a PMP in a short while. Thank you so much, sir. Wow, thank you so much. Uh, is that Wamboza? Yes, Wamboza. Yes. Yeah, Wamboza, my, my famous name. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, guys, thank you. I'm wishing you the best in your career journeys. Uh, we haven't yet started launching uh, our quizzes for each series, but please be patient. Uh, our team is working on that to give you some better experience. I think from series five, six, seven, will become very much uh, tuning us towards some uh, practical phases of the work. And so we must see that um, you take some time to kind of like visualize. If you're asking for the slides or presentations, I will make them available to you as well. So you can go through all the recordings, go through the recordings, we can improve your insights in the different different dimensions and if you have any questions then we can as well always address those questions um, when necessary all right again i say thank you i appreciate your time i appreciate your commitment i appreciate your comments have a wonderful uh rest of the week and see us in our series five and before then i say thank you bye thank you so much bye bye to all the best yeah, all the best, thanks.